Hey folks, it's IOE Thorn back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Alex the Assassin and he's back again. Um and he is in his T49. This is a tier 10 game on Glacier. But he's got this thing decked out. I I gotta assume he's running You know, a great crew in this thing. Um he's he's not running any consumables that we know of. But he's gotta be running something epic on this thing, right? Well, he's got this thing decked out. Oh, and he, <laughs> he gets a shield as he goes up here. The uh, the bulldog pulling shots for him. What? Wait a second. Stop the presses. What did you just do? How did you... Do, do you have homing rockets equipped? Because... A, that shouldn't have connected and B it shouldn't have been able to damage his tracks and put that big of a hole in him. Wow. Um okay. That guy's game is just ruined. But obviously Alex is having a ton of fun. Uh which <laughs> obviously is what you should be doing, right? The little side note, I don't know about you guys, but it seems every time I get down to like ten percent health at the start of the game, that's when I have amazing games. But that person is not having an amazing game. That person is not having fun. Though that LT400 is still on us. Um, but now he's too far away for us to see. So, um, oh no, he's right there. Taking cover behind the giant target. We, yeah. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> I, I have to wonder what the HP, what the the blast radius of this thing is. Ah, uh, because that poor guy. I mean, there was nothing he could do about it. Once he got lit, uh, death was incoming. Unfortunately for him, that's just the way it was going to work. Uh, we have a bat check coming up behind us, though. But Alex realizes in time, and unfortunately he's trying to fire over the back of the tank. Yeah, that's... Okay. Well, apparently he finds exactly the right spot in which to fire over the back of the tank. <laughs> and hit the bat check before the bat check can do any more damage to him. <laughs> Though, I'm pretty sure that's the same bat check that pegged us at the start of the game. Still using APCR, by the way. So either that's his first clip, or, um, or he's just determined to fire gold the entire game. I don't know which. It doesn't really matter. Either way, the, the poor guy's dead. Have <laughs> not done much this game. Uh, I, just like the uh, the poor LT. So wait, does that mean all their scouts are dead? Yes, all of their eyes are dead. Mm, not able to pull the, the same feat with the Pershing, but it looks like. We got company coming up the ramp. That is an object 252U. And if that thing gets up here, we're going to be in trouble. I love the fact that he's scooting over to the other side. Because, of course, uh, the last place he was spotted was on the other side. And so the object is going to come up here. And it's going to turn to the other way. And it might let us get a shot into the back of him. If we can do that, which is exactly what he's about to try, we might be able to pull off something cool. Or not. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Alex, you can't complain too much. RNG has been helping you all game. <laughs> you can't, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't jump off there, though. Um, your best bet is maybe wait till he fires and then run around behind him. Or you could shoot him in the face, track him. And uh, get his attention. That that might work too. Uh, now, however, you got to make sure you're reloaded before he comes back around that corner, because he is definitely going to be looking for you. Looks like yes, we are. We have enough room. We can back all the way up. We are in fact going to be reloaded. Oh, well, it was nice knowing you. There, I don't see a way you get out of this. 
And uh, you got your butt saved. I hope you thank Artillery for that. Because without him, yes, you do. Oh, good. Without him, you would have been so dead. And GW was paying attention and aimed in and aimed well, by the way. So many times I've been in similar situations and then had friendly artillery take me out instead of... Okay. <laughs> it feels like something I should address in post. So you guys don't have to wait as long as I had to wait. Um... It looks like the T95 is brawling with an object 430. But I mean, as long as the object 430 can't get around to the back of the T95, it's not going to be much of a brawl. It's going to be more of one guy running away from the other guy. Um, because in that, those tight quarters, the 430 can't do a whole lot. Um, I mean, as long as he doesn't get, really get the jump on the T95, it's not going to be able to do anything but sit there and, and think he looks pretty right up until he dies, kind of thing, right? Um, oh, unfortunately, not able to do anything to the GW. <laughs> well, not able to kill him anyway. That's one of the shots that you you figure is gonna go gonna go in, and then it doesn't. And you're like, really, really, why? Oh well, um, it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. It looks like the T95 is still with his back in the corner. He does not want to let the 430 get behind him. Because uh, that would obviously spell his death for no good reason. And so he's just going to sit here and wait. And at some point, the, the 430 is going to have to show himself. Oh, that is the back end of a Yags, Yagzilla. Unfortunately, not able to pull the trigger when we could see through the back doors. Which would have been awesome, by the way, with the way, way these shells are tracking. Um, you're, at, uh, you're, you're almost at four and a half thousand damage I you uh, he came up with another 500 damage there from somewhere I don't know where I'm sure you can get there but you're not there yet <laughs> okay so there's still artillery right by there oh this has moved I'm kind of surprised the artillery found the W key those are uh, some rare oh and there's the 430 that we haven't been able to find Oh, from across the map, this will be so lovely. Oh, I was hoping that would go straight down in his engine pipe and just boom, right? I'm sure everybody else was too. It's not quite how that worked out, but eh, I guess it's okay. Um, might as well go after the nearest enemy. Heat. Oh, okay, for a second there, I thought he was loading heat for this <laughs> artillery. Um, as that would be weird but it's not the case of course he's in fact hunting already down with some he loaded up and ready to go and there is artillery not even paying attention to I'm not gonna move it doesn't even know it's been lit well it figured it out in the end it was like hey there's a dot close to me on this map I wonder what that means we're gonna speed this up but uh Oh, there is the object, and it just took out our panzer. I did. Yeah, that's regular speed. Okay. This thing is faster than I th thought it was. I don't think we're going to get that shot. But I think he might still be there. I think that shot connected. No, maybe not. Oh, oh, that's a Conway. That's a Conway, and we do not have a health to deal with a Conway right now. Gotta get reloaded. Ooh, unfortunately. That's just the way it works sometimes. Um, You need to stay under here. You need to not come up over this rise. And just when you came down here, either go this way, or I would have tucked in right in here and waited for the Conway. Um, And then if the Conway tried to come up, come around this rise it would have encountered the T95 it would have probably shot at the T95 first because of course T95 is a much bigger threat and you could have poked up and finished it off unfortunately that's not what occurred and this is the end of our hero however this is not the end of the game and so do we get to see what the object does 
He didn't shoot you through anything. He hit you when you were still on the hill. Your your body just slid. Oh, yeah. Let's see now if I does need to stop missing, though. He does need to connect one of these shells. Of course, he's in a rather dominating position. <laughs> What's the Conway going to do to him? Um, not, not a whole lot. And one, one more shell into the Conway. Apparently, I didn't notice, but the artillery took out the 430. I'm hoping this means that he was on low enough health that they could do that, like say that we hit him. But I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see when we get back to the results. Master badge, ace tanker. You got the spotter, bruiser, duelist, and fire for effect badges. Unfortunately, nothing else. I'm a little bit surprised that he didn't get anything, but uh, none of spying damage done, none of spot team, I mean, spotted. Uh, not even a crucial contribution or a uh, like confederate award because he killed too many people. Um, <laughs> I was hate when, he, when that happens. Uh, and not highest damage in the game. Oh. That means the shell in the forward third did not connect. Yeah. If it had, though, that would have pushed you up into the highest damage in the game, more than likely. As you only need, what, like, 54 damage or something like that? No, that's, that's 25 plus... 34 is okay. Not not far off. My head 59. Something like that. We're not we're not gonna talk. No, oh, that's 54. It's fine. I don't know where my head's at right now. My math is not good. I'm just gonna cut this out totally. <laughs> Basically, if you did just a tiny bit more damage, this game would have been a victory. But unfortunately. Not the case, or not a victory, but a high caliber. Unfortunately, not the case. Um, overall, well done. Just a little misplay at the end there with the Conway. And uh, next time, keep your head down a little bit more, and everything will go well as it is. You're definitely in the 6k damage club, sir. So, thank you very much for joining, and thank you for this game. The RNG in it was spectacular and a lot of fun to watch. And so thank you all for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you all later. This IOE throw out.